Welcome to Electron Lecture Online. Just to make sure that we know how to handle one of these, when we have a constant in there for the angle, we'll do one more example like this. Take the integral of the tangent of ax, what we need to do is rewrite it as the integral of the sine of ax divided by the cosine of ax times dx. Again, we need to use a substitution. Let u equal what's in the denominator. In this case, that's going to be equal to the cosine of ax. And then we can say that du dx, the derivative of that, is equal to, the derivative of cosine is a negative sine, so it's a negative, the sine of ax, times the derivative of the angle, times a. In other words, we can write du as being equal to minus a times the sine of ax times dx. And that's as far as we need to go because now we can come over here and make the substitution. This is equal to the integral of the sine of ax dx divided by the cosine of ax can now be written as u. Now take a look at the numerator. The sine of ax dx is this portion right here. What we don't have is we don't have a minus a. All right, what we can then do is say that du or what we can say here is that the sine of ax dx can be written as du divided by a minus a. So we're going to replace what's in the numerator by du over minus a. This can now be written as the integral of du over minus a times u. And since a is a constant, we can move that to outside integral sign. This can now be written as 1 over or minus 1 over a times the integral of du over u. And now we can go ahead and integrate that. That is equal to minus 1 over a times the natural log of u plus a constant of integration. Can't forget about that. Now what we can do is replace u by what u is equal to. This is equal to minus 1 over a times the natural log of the cosine of ax. We can also take the negative sign and move it up here. This can now be written as 1 over a times the natural log of the cosine of ax raised to the minus 1 power, which is equal to 1 over a times the natural log of 1 over the cosine of ax. Oh, I keep forgetting my plus c's, don't I? Yes. Next, what we can say is that 1 over the cosine of ax must be equal to the secant of ax. So this is equal to 1 over a times the, uh, the natural log of the secant of ax plus a constant of integration. And essentially, this is the correct form of the integral of the tangent of ax. So that's how you see how things change a little bit when you have a constant in front of the x, and that will then be the final answer of that. And that's how we do that.